Radical. So as a friend of mine, actually was a friend of Kenny, if a lot of you remember Kenny. He was a friend of Kenny. He still is a friend of Kenny. I don't know if he talks to him a whole lot, though. And, uh, well, he tells me that he got an Xbox Series X. And I was thinking, man, like, how did you come across one of them? They're kind of hard to find. I think the Xbox Series S is a little easier to find. PlayStation 5 was almost impossible to find. And he told me something more shocking than the fact that he has a Series X. But he also has a 1S. I didn't know he had a 1S. Tells me he got it for 150 bucks. Instantly I'm thinking, okay, it's either broken. Maybe he got, you know, maybe he got like a broken one. Or maybe it's stolen. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, what the hell? Apparently a friend of his, I think he might have got a PlayStation 5 or is building a PC and then decided... You know, he didn't want the Series X. I'm not sure what was going on. And he called him up and said, hey, man, you know, I'll probably give it to you for like 150 Maybe they're just that good of friends. Maybe, I, I don't know the situation. Like, if it was a good friend, probably. I don't know if I would let that thing go for under like 300 bucks Because that thing is like 500 bucks, right? So he tells me he has a Series X, 150 I don't even know if he got games with it, but even if he didn't get any games with it, damn, 150 bucks. So I tell him, whatever you paid for it, I'll pay you more. I'm not sure how much more I'll pay you. I'll maybe give you some cash. I got a whole box of Xbox games over here. Got some nice designer shirts, right? I got some, I got some things. I'm a flea marketer. I'm a come, I come across a lot of things. I could drop... Like, 50 Blu-rays and DVDs right at this guy. Like, I, I said, I'm going to wheel and deal. I want that Series X. Now, worst case scenario, I think he might decide to keep the Series X, and he'll let the 1S go. He doesn't need the Series X and the, well, I mean Series S. He doesn't need the Series X and the Series S. The question is, is would I really want a Series S? I guess it depends on what he would let it go for. I'm not paying more than a hundred bucks for a Series S. Because keeping, I mean, this might be a, a a tactic for me to actually get the Series S a little less. I mean, I don't know how much he got the Series S for. Maybe he paid more for the Series S. Wouldn't it be crazy if he paid three hundred in the store for the Series S and then got the X for, you know, one fifty? I don't know. Now, to a lot of you that have both systems, that have the Series S, has the Series and the Series X, of course, the X is going to be more powerful, and you can put disc in there. That's a big thing for me because I have a lot of physical copies of games, so that's why I would want the Series X. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. You know, as early as maybe next week, next weekend, I might actually have a Series X, and that would be a very fun show off Saturdays, wouldn't it? 